Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well today. My name is Juan Leonieva, and I'm thrilled to present our poster titled Evaluation of Machine Learning Models from Frost Cytometry Data to Develop a Predictive Signature to Immuno Checkpoint Blocked in Melanoma and Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer at the European Conference on Computational Biology 2023. Our study falls under the, the Translational Medical Informative Track. Firstly, I would like to express my gratitude to the exceptional team that has contributed to this study. Our research has been conducted by the talented individuals from the medical oncology team at the regional and Virgenra Victoria hospitals, Ibima, Bayanan, in Malaga, Spain. If you have any questions or would like to discuss our findings in more details, please feel free to reach out to me. Let's dig into the essence of our study, Immunocheckpoint Blockade, ICB holds enormous promise as a cancer treatment. However, it is disheartening to see that it only benefits a modest percentage of patients, roughly around 20 and 30%. One of the key challenges we face is the absence of biomarkers to accurate predict resistance to ICV. This is precisely where our research comes into play. We embark on an extensive investigation utilizing flow cytometry aiming to develop a potential signature for predicting therapy response in patients receiving ICP treatment. Our study involved the analysis of 100 blood samples obtained from individuals diagnosed with melanoma and non-small cell lung cancer. These samples were collected prior to the initiation of ICP treatment. To streamline our analysis process, we developed a specialized tool called the Flow Total R Packet. This package proved invaluable as it facilitated mass analysis by providing automatic gating and reprocessing capabilities. Dealing with a vast amount of data generated by flow cytometry would have been an arduous task without this powerful tool. Moving on to the methodology, we employ a two-step technique for model training and evaluation. Our study utilizes a training cohort consisting of 67 patients and a separate test cohort comprising 33 patients. In order to assess the performance of the model, we employ a three machine learning model algorithms. Lasso, XEG boost, and support vector machine. To gauge the model performance, we utilize the area under the growth, under the curve metric. And to estimate the reliability of our results, we employ bootstrap-based confidence interval. To optimize the performance of the ML models, we diligently tune the hyperparameters using repeated cross-validation over the training data. Among the models we evaluated, LASSO exhibited the greatest generalization ability, achieving an impressive AUC on 0.80, with a considerable interval between 0.73 and 0.91. The features identified as significant contributors to the predictive signature where cell free DNA concentration, CD19, CD8, PDL1, CD8, PD1. Our study has the potential to significantly impact patients' uh, selection criteria for ICB by harnessing the power of flow cytometry data and applying sophisticated machine learning algorithms. We have identified a potential predictive signature. This signature can assist clinicians in determining which patients are more likely to respond positively to ICB treatment, ultimately improving patient outcome and personalizing their care. In conclusion, our research underscores the profound impact that computational biology and machine learning can have in the field of cancer research. Through the evaluation of machine learning models using flow cytometry data, we have successfully developed a predictive signature for immunocheckpoint blocked in melanoma and non-small cell lung cancer. We are confident that our findings will contribute to the advance of personalized medicine. Once again, I would like to express my gratitude to the medical oncology team for the valuable contribution to this research. Thanks for your attention and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or would like to discuss or find me in more details.